Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today we're doing uh, various components for two sets of different stringers, two different jobs, half inch aluminum plate. Uh, it's an array I've got tucked in here right tight. Um, we're testing out our new cable today. Uh, we picked that up uh, a week ago. And uh, so far we haven't had any uh, interruptions or any communication problems with it. Uh, this is going to be about 33, uh, let's see here, okay, it's going to be about 33 minutes and 53 seconds, so almost 34 minutes, so um, we'll see how much I actually get on video, and, uh, and we'll probably pick in, in between to hit a couple different shots, a couple different angles, and we'll get some shots. We're going to be finding out if we can really pierce half inch aluminum today. Alright, so let's get, uh, let's get to it. And uh, we get some ventilation on here. And it looks like we're piercing fine. That was just 20 inches a minute. 60 on the heights of cut. Really looking good. Nice and square. Alright, I'm going to stop it for a second here so I can pop one of these out here. Kind of show you How nice and square this cut and how clean that is. Pretty good, I'm happy with that. We're gonna leave this in here just to, uh, they're gonna be settling in there and keep the air draft just ultimate. All right, here we go.
something I'm just learning how to do, and that's set it up right back to where it came and fell off. And just see if I get started.
these have all cooled down here uh, and we came back in to uh, give it a check over and uh, we'll just kind of like comparing a couple of things uh, like uh, they cut around the very first part and they cut around the very last part and uh, if we look at all matching sides they uh, they all look exactly the same so our uniformity of our cut through this whole entire job which is uh, 34 minutes of cutting or so uh, total um, plus where you saw that I tripped the torch and had a couple uh, incidences uh, along the way um, but uh, all in all uh, we're learning and uh, it's just it, it just keeps getting better cut is nice and straight uh, or I mean you know it's pretty straight it is a little fat on the bottom but I'd rather have that uh, than uh, a little narrow on the bottom uh, because our widths that we're looking for in here like this right here uh, 4, 5, 60 it was supposed to be pretty close to 4, 5, 80 if we suck up the whole thing down close to the bottom we're like 4, 600 so I mean we're within <laughs> we're definitely within welding tolerances and uh, that's what we're shooting for is to be able to cut aluminum plate like this um, we had 24 successful pierce uh, points uh, we didn't have any fails there we did have a fail or two on the on the tripping of the torch uh, this one part right here was the pierce was right here at the corner and, and it came in and I didn't notice it until I got down in this area right here and then I stopped it lifted it up and cleared the uh, little BB ball on it and uh, and that's all it was and it was just interfering with the uh, the flow there and but that's going to be ground and that's going to be full weld right here is open air material right here this is weld this is weld here this is just a little sand and that'll be pretty nice to gusset I really like being able to put start and finish into here um, and the the edges are going to come into play like that well we'll uh We'll get these things sanded up and here in another day or so uh, we'll be showing you uh, some uh, uh, engine stringer beds uh, being uh, fabricated and that's what this project is for and I just wanted to get them cut out and uh, so today uh, was kind of what we did. Uh, it was 20 inches a minute, 60 amps, 100 thousandths uh, cut height, um, works great. Get her done.